Sometimes you might fault me for being a perfectionist. Sometimes I love to eat good food and I like my good food to taste as good as possible. And not only does my taste for perfection include food only, it also includes many aspects of my life. For instance, what I'm trying to think, let me see. What is something that relates to me well? Um, masturbation, I think, yes. Masturbation, yes. The perfect schedule to masturbate if you are a single person is 1357. Yes, 1357. That's the most important number ever. It's not an integer, it's not a mathematical thing, you know, a formula like a pi, 3.142, blah, 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 blah. But it is at the same height or same rung of importance, and not importance, importance as the pi. 3.142, as the Fermi Paradox Theorem, as all those things that can make you question life and the meaning of it. So this is called Jericho's Theorem. The number is 1, 3, 5 and 7. How does it work? Let's say 1 represents Monday. Monday, you masturbate. You come. As usual, nothing different there, okay? Make sure you clean after yourself. Don't leave it splattered all over the walls. A CSI comes in with a UV light. I don't want to see some kind of uh, art deco type of, no, not, not art deco, some graffiti that is like really and nearly, they just shoot, spray, paint everything. So you don't want a glowy wall. And Tuesday you do nothing because you need to recuperate. You need to use up the protein in your body to make new sperm. Number three, the next number, represents Wednesday. And that's the time you can shoot your ammo again. And vice versa, five is Friday, seven is Sunday. But here's the catch. It's not Monday on the 9th. Ah, the next number after 7 is 9. And 9 is not Monday. 9 is Tuesday. So, it changes. The days change. It's variety that is the spice of life. So, if you do it, you masturbate every Monday, you get bored with it. Monday? Oh no! I masturbate on Monday. It's boring. So, it's the same situation if you masturbate every single day. It gets boring. It's, it's just like routine, but it's meh, you know, it's meh. So that's the catch. You have to do it when you have already have your ammo and you're feeling horny and you're ready to expunge some liquid. It's very important. Don't do it every day. It's bad for health and it gets boring. The most important thing is variety is the spice of life. Change it up. Right hand. Left hand, right hand, left hand, mouth if you can reach, leg if you can do it, two legs, make it two legs, or just one leg. I mean, I don't think you are a, I don't think you are a monkey, so I think you just need two legs or two feet. Uh, one feet, I don't think you can actually do. I think it's very hard to actually push it together, encompass your penis, unless you are an ape, then by all means just use one. Uh, left or right feet. So, that's Jericho's theorem. 1, 3, 5, 7, 9, 11, 13, so on and so forth. It's a very important number. Yes, learn it. And, may the force be with us. I'm sorry I had to come back again. I must appear to be a feminist bastard. I should have said or disclaimed that whatever I said just now was for men. So, masturbation is not only for men or male part of the species. No, for females too. And they have a lot of varieties too. Fingers, my god. They can do thumb, pointy finger, fucky finger, and no use of finger and promise finger. 
and there's only five varieties oh my god and also here and also that oh my god if you can oh my god so many varieties they have more varieties the females I'm so jealous I want to be a female okay there's no I can't think of a of, of a I really can't think of something to end this video that is snarky and poetic so I'm gonna end just with that females can't fuck them, can't fuck without them.